Hey, it's James Barber. I want to share a story with you quickly about something I experienced in college. I was in a philosophy class. It was one of these big lecture halls, about 150 people with one professor up front. And the class started talking about horoscopes and the effect that horoscopes had on us and how applicable they were to us and our birth date and on and on and on and on. So as we were talking about this, I started doing some research and I found a study that was done in a similar environment with a giant lecture hall and one teacher. Now this is what happened. The students were talking about horoscopes. So what the professor did was he asked every single student to take a piece of paper, write down their birth date, the day and month of their birth, flip it over, fold the paper over, and write their name on the top of the paper and pass them back to the professor. So the next time that happened, the next time they met, the professor then had a piece of paper for each student with their name on it, and he passed them out. He said, do not look at them until they get to you, until I tell you to look at them. So once every student had a piece of paper, like 150 students, with their name on it, he said, okay, now without showing it to your neighbors on either side of you, read what is inside. He goes, this is what your horoscope is based on your birth date. So everybody opened it up and they read what their horoscope was based on the birth date that they turned in the previous class. So then they folded them up and he said, don't say anything, but I want to see with a show of hands, how many of you feel that this specific horoscope relates directly to you or what you're going through right now? And like 90 to 95% of the class raised their hand. They're like, yes, this applies to me. It's dead on. This is what it is. So the professor said, okay, awesome. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pass your horoscope to the person to the right of you. So they did that. And then he said, now open it up and read it. So when they read it, they realized that every horoscope was exactly the same. It was exactly the same. He didn't do anything other than write the same words on the paper and hand them out to each individual. And the model behind this or the moral behind this is that each person, no matter when they were born, felt that the thing that was written on that paper could be applied to their life and was pertinent to their life at that moment. So what's the story behind this? The story behind this, everybody, is that you are the painter of your life. You can take anything and apply it to your life to make it better, right? So why not focus on the things that are going to do that? Focus on the positive stuff. Focus on taking the colors from your palette and painting the canvas of your life the way you want it to be, right? Not being dependent upon what's on a piece of paper because oftentimes anything we can apply to our lives, but it might not be the thing that we need to. What we need to focus on is what works for you, what is going to take you to where you want to go, what's going to help you break through the confusion, the doubt, get clear of focus, and go to that destiny that you have waiting for you. So if you'd like more information on what we do and what I do to help you do this, you can go to jamesbarber.com. You can sign up for the newsletter. It's totally free. You'll get some great information. Or you can go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash jamesbarbernow. You click the little button at the top of my header and it says watch video. It'll watch a little video. It's my newsletter, totally free. Or you can go to the side of the page. I'm not sure which side. It'll say join my free newsletter. You'll get some information and you can start on this incredible journey with me and hundreds of other people who have been on it. So listen, guys, write your own horoscope, paint your own canvas, create the life you want it to be. Unleash the star power within yourself and live your destiny. I'm excited for your journey.